Hi everyone, welcome back to our three month Fit Body 2019 challenge. Today is back in arms, so we're gonna be doing upper body and I'm gonna walk you through proper form for each of the moves in today's challenge. And if you haven't joined the challenge yet, it is not too late. Head to the description below to get a promo code to try the Fit Body app free for an entire month. Download the app and you'll be all set to go. So move number one for today is a shoulder press. So you are gonna need weights for this. So when you do the shoulder press, you, there's two different ways you can position your arms. Some have them completely perpendicular from their body. Some have them a little bit more forward. So really what it comes down to is what is going to be the best for your shoulder joints. Some people find that it's gonna be best this way, some a little bit more forward. So from the side, this is completely perpendicular to my body. Here, they're a bit more forward, okay? Then you're gonna push them up and bring it down. And if you have your arms perpendicular, same movement. You just wanna be sure that you're not collapsing in your chest when you do this, okay? Keep your chest out, push up, and this is going to engage your shoulders, but it's also going to engage your lats. So be sure that you're really squeezing those lats. If you don't know where that is, that's your back muscles right here, okay? So engage them, push up, be sure that you don't collapse, keep your chest out, and back down. All right, one more time. Exhale, inhale, and also be sure that you're keeping your core tight as well. So for the next move, you're going to need a platform, so like a chair of some sort, and you're gonna be doing alternating arm raises on the platform, okay? So you're going to um, have your body in a straight line, twist your torso, open up your body, and then alternate. You're gonna twist your feet a little bit as well. Okay, so when you're doing that move, just be sure that you are really keeping your core tight and using your oblique muscles and then keeping your body in a straight line the entire time. All right, move number three is going to be a lateral raise. So you need your weights for this and you are going to raise the dumbbells up, return them slowly, raise them up. And now you can either do this with your arms bent at a 90 degree angle or you can have them out. You don't ever want to completely extend your elbow, that is really dangerous. You always wanna have a slight bend. So you can have it out with a slight bend or at a 90 degree angle. The closer it is to your body, the easier it's going to be. So if you want to really make it more challenging, don't have as much of a bend in your elbow or bend it if you wanna make it a little bit easier. Let me show you from the side. And this is with less of a bend. Keep your core tight, and you can have a little bit of a bend in your hips. Just be sure that you're keeping your core tight. And really, really focus on when you raise, decelerate the move. So it's, you're not you know, just raising it and dropping it. Raise, hold, and decelerate on the way down. All right, move number four is going to be a burpee in a three second plank. So get your yoga mats. Whew. All right, so as you girls know, we've done this move already in this challenge, but if you need to modify and step back, you can step back like this, go down into a plank, and then back up, step before you jump, okay? So if you need to modify, totally okay to do so. Otherwise, we're gonna be laying down and jumping up, okay? All right, so the burpee with the plank, jumping down, plank, you don't have to do the lay down, but you can. <laughs> and then back up and jump. So really as far as form goes, the main thing that you don't wanna do is you don't wanna just like, <laughs> you know, bend over and like get down with like your core not engaged and with a rounded back. So as long as you have the tight core and your chest is out and you're not rounding, <sighs> and of course with the plank that your body's in a straight line, then you can't really go wrong with the burpee. So, all right, out of breath. <laughs> Our last move of today's challenge is going to be front raises. I already showed you a shoulder press and a lateral raise. Now, shoulder press, weight-wise, your upper body, your shoulders can handle a lot more weight than a lateral raise, okay? And then on a lateral raise, you can do more weight than a front raise. So, 
long story short, front raise, do the lightest weight. It's, you know, a little bit more difficult to go forward then a little bit heavier weight with the lateral raises and then go heavy on those shoulder presses, okay? You need to be sure that you're applying the amount of resistance on your body that is actually going to challenge you, all right? So front raises, keep your chest out, raise. And then again, same thing. I don't want you just swinging them up and down, okay? That's not gonna do very much for building those muscles. This is just cardio, all right? So I want you to raise, and decelerate on the way down, okay? It doesn't have to be a, a long drawn out thing. There are negative versions of moves, which a negative would be going down as slow as you can. We're not necessarily doing a negative, but I don't want you just swinging it up and letting it go right away. So you kinda wanna find a middle ground, just like that. All right, keep your core tight, keep that chest out. <sighs> Exhale on the hard part, and that's it. All right, you are ready to crush today's workout. Go kill it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.